To our distinguished guest of honor, Honorable Teresita Ermanzala, members of the Board of Directors of Professional Regulations Commission, dynamic teams of every college, respected government officials, members of the faculty, to the 2013 net passers, dear parents, Students, guests, a pleasant morning to everyone. I can find the exact words to describe how happy and thankful I am today. Seeing all of you here to share with us this very momentous event of our lives. A day wherein we will be officially sealed as professional teachers. Truly, that when you humbly ask from God what your heart desires, He will give more than what you intend to happen, that even those which seem impossible become possible. The story of our family is a proof of God's unending love and providence. In all our undertakings, never ceases to be with us all. In our almost weak and hopeless heart, He always makes a way to sustain what we lack and to be our strength to withstand all the adversities life may bring to our family. Before I entered college, I am already aware of our financial status. My father is a driver and my mother is a teacher. Many said, that we can easily pursue our tertiary education because my mother is a teacher. But they were all wrong. My four years in college did not become easy for us. Having six children, their income is not enough to suffice our cost of living, especially our educational needs. To lessen the burden of my parents sending me in college, I tried applying for scholarships offered in our school. And through prayers, I was luckily chosen as one of the Chess scholars. The 50,000 pesos that I received every semester within four years was indeed a blessing and has earned our family's eternal gratitude. The next years of my college life was a great challenge for our family. When I was in second year, my father was afflicted by an illness, and for almost two years, he wasn't able to work. We have almost nothing, and my mother was nearly a single parent that time. Kung kaguna gani nakakapag-try pa in Rupa, ay hirap Paano pa nga ating nagsuloy akong mataguyod sa inro na pinagpapaho inro pa? That was one of the hardest situations our family had experienced. Naisip ko noon, ang hirap mawala ng magulang o mawala ng isa man sa kanila. That time, I volunteered to stop schooling because I realized how hard it would be for my mother to send me and my sister both in college. But my mother doesn't want to stop. Hindi na ni pwede na ikaw it magtungon, na ikaw it panganay. Makatapos kaya, e pagkaraong bagay. Adyos nila makakaraos sa gadong kita. Ako pa mo higapang hanggat ako'y makusog pa. God will make a way. My mother always told us when we are in the most difficult situations in life. With that, the more that I was challenged and I considered such circumstances as a motivation to persevere and strive harder in my studies, 
Inisip ko na lang doon na kung ano man ang kahirapang nararanasan ng pamilya namin, mapalad pa rin kami kung para sa nararanasan ng iba. Tangi ang pagtitiwala sa Diyos ang naging lakas ng bawat isa sa amin na darating ang panahon na makakaraos din kami sa lahat ng ito. At kung mayroong mga isang tao lubos kong pinagkakautawan at lubos kong hinahangal, iyon ay ang mama ko. Lahat ng sacrificio ginawa niya para sa amin. Lahat ng tao maaaring lapitan para makahiram ng pera may papadala sa amin noon. Nilapitan niya. Lahat ng pride niya at lahat ng insultong minsan ay binabato sa kanya. Binaliwala niya. Kahit nga ang mga pagpabuti ito, hindi na magawa ng mama ko. Tiniis niya ang ilang taong walang postito kahit nakakababa ito ng self-esteem niya bilang isang teacher. Palaging sinasabi ng mama ko noon sa aming magkakapatid. Uya ako na huwag mga anak silinggon mga tao na kapoy karamong utang. Kasi uya na ako katulad na sa para sa ako sarili, kundi para sa ako pamilya. Sobrang hirap maging magulang. Subayang lahat ng ito ay natutumbasan. Makita lamang nila na natutupad ang ating mga pangarap na pinangarap din nila para sa atin. Masakit para sa isang magulang ang mabigo sa kanilang mga anak. Isang bagay na hindi rin na iwasang mangyari sa pamilya namin. Maagad na nasawa ang pangalawa kong kapatid. Sobrang sakit iyon para sa mama ko. Kasi ang pinangarap niyang mangyari sa amin. Ngunit sa kapila nito, lahat ng pangunawa at pagmamahal pa rin ng isang ina ang ibinigay niya sa kapatid ko. Isa pa rin ito sa naging dahilan upang higit ko pang pagbuti ng aking pag-aaral hanggang sa aking makapagtapos. Isang bagay na ipinangako ko sa pamilya ko at kahit sa simple paraan ay mapasaya mo sila at makaganti sa lahat ng sakripisyo ginawa nila para sa akin. Bagaman gano'n na naging kapalara ng kapatid ko, masaya kami dahil naging mabuti naman ang pinalagyan niya at nakapag-aral siya muli. Through it all, God is really great. And I want to take this opportunity to acknowledge all the people who have been part of this success. To my family, you've been my inspiration in every spirit of, of journey I have been through. Thank you for being my number one supporter and for staying with me in all the strife. Whatever achievements I have now, These are all for you because I would not I would not be here today without you. To our dear teachers who have been our second parents, we owe much from you. We will not get this far without the package of learning which adapt us to be more confident to enter the challenging world of our profession. Thank you for molding our characters and for believing that our batch can create a very significant mark in the history of RSU. To our beloved alma mater, Rumble State University, who has been our friend in realizing our dreams, the ember of your memories will be at heart forever. To all the people who offer their help to our family, Especially when it comes to financial aspects, you are indeed used by God as an instrument to make my dreams come true. Success is really a matter of sacrifice. There is no shortcut towards achieving it. If you desire for something, claim that you can have it. Let the formula of faith plus work prevail so that on every road that we will take, in every endeavor that we will face, and in every journey that we will travel, we can ponder those difficult trials. To those who did not make it this time, don't consider it as a failure. Rather, let it be your ground for improvement. 
Perhaps you just miss something and you just have to patch them. Never quit. Keep on trying. There's always a room for hope and chances. To batch 2013, 2014, who will be taking the left this coming July, I know you can soar higher, reap bigger, and do more do more than what our batch did for the honor of alma mater. May we, may we become an inspiration to all of you. There is no best practice or technique you can do for you to pass the exam because it will depend on how you will work for it. Just remain positive to your goals. Set your priorities. Focus on the most important things. Do your best and above all, surrender everything to God and He will do the rest. Do not be afraid to meet all the toughs and challenges in life because this will make you a better person. Before I end, let us contemplate on this beautiful life. If God gives you something which makes you afraid, that is also the time when God wants you to be brave. Nais ko pong tawagin yung mama ko dito po sa gitna para magbigay po ng counting message po. Again, good morning to all of you and congratulations to the 2013 NEPA.